Saint John of Damascus. Also known as Saint John Damascene, he was born in 679 into a pious and well-respected Christian family living under Islamic rule. His father was loved and respected even among his Muslim counterparts. John excelled at all that he did and upon turning 23, his father sought for him a Christian tutor who would prune this young prodigy into an expert of music, astronomy, mathematics, philosophy, and of course, theology. Upon his father's death, he was called by Caliph Abd al-Malik to succeed his father's role as chief counsellor. Sometime after the inception of the iconoclastic heresy, John wrote his On Divine Images in defence of the holy icons. This angered the Byzantine Emperor Leo III so much he was unable to touch John that he forged a letter in John's name to incriminate him in the eyes of the Caliph. Unfortunately, it succeeded. This led to the dismemberment of John's right hand as well as being removed from his magisterial duties. Returning home with his severed hand, St. John prayed to the Theotokos for her intercessions. Falling asleep almost instantly during his prayers, he woke and beheld that she had indeed healed him. To the surprise and remorse of the Caliph, the miracle left a scar as proof. Asking him to return as his advisor, John refused and chose rather to leave Damascus for St. Saba's monastery in Jerusalem. This is the origin of the icon Virgin with Three Hands, which John himself had commissioned and which exists to this day in Mount Athos. Amazingly, this latter era of John's life is the one that produced the most edifying witness to his unwavering Christianity. Not only did he continue to gush forth the grace of God from his very being, but he left for us rivers of sweet water in the form of rich theological music, poetry and philosophy that continues to nourish the world as much as his absolute obedience and humility did in his earthly life. He was eventually ordained a priest after he was tonsured a monk, reposing in 749. As well as writing his three treatises on the divine images, he also penned the lives of Saints Balaam and Yuasaf, his homilies on the Domitian in honour of the Theotokos, countless other treatises and works, and perhaps most profoundly, the Fount of Knowledge, which includes the philosophical chapters on heresies and on the Orthodox faith. St. John also wrote countless musical compositions and theological poetry still in use today, most notably the Paschal Canon, Funeral Hymns, and the Megalinarion in New O Full of Grace, chanted during St. Basil's liturgy instead of It Is True. The Theological Institute of the Balamand in Lebanon is named in his honour, for the obvious reason being that he is one of the most influential Antiochian Church Fathers in history. We commemorate St. John along with St. Barbara on December 4th in the Holy Orthodox Church. May he intercede for us always.